interestingly, I should have said at the start of the meeting, if you need to, the, the toilets, is something the chair usually does, and I forgot, just lock the door, turn left, and then up the ramp, and uh, the, the, there's uh, all the toilets are there on the right hand side if you need to use the facilities. Our next speaker then is uh, Melanie uh, Strickland, and uh, she is a uh, campaigner Sorry. and was arrested recently at the uh, DSEI uh, arms fair. And um, Melanie threw herself under a lorry outside the government, uh, government supported event, uh, uh, which uh, shows some guts. Um, but uh, don't put yourself in a situation where you're going to lose you. Know? We don't want to sort of see another Emily Wilding gave us a bit of for activists that want you to uh, continue to uh, uh, take the, the message to the powers that be. Anyway, I'll uh, hand over the floor to uh, Simone. I'm going to put the, the, the five minute clock on again and get my uh, thing going. So over to you, Simone, the clock's off. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, that thanks. It sounded a lot more dramatic than, than it actually was. Um, it was an action um, last September at the um, largest arms fair in the world, um, which takes place in Excel, Dyson Arms Fair. And, um, Myself and um, a bunch of other women uh, stopped um, an HGV trailer that was coming out of the Excel Center and got underneath it to, to shut down the traffic, to stop the traffic from going in and out, and therefore to disrupt or to prevent the arms fair from setting up. So um, that's what we did, and we were arrested and charged with a very minor offence, obstruction of the highway. Um, but that's not really here what you know what I'm here to talk about. Um, the charges were were dropped against us a week before trial, and um, we believe that the reason why they were dropped is because we had a very good lawyer, and our lawyer was asking lots of questions about the two arms companies who, who were themselves thrown out of the arms fair, um, after Caroline Lucas presented evidence in, in this house um, that they committed crimes, um, some of the most serious crimes imaginable, actually. Um, they were promoting torture equipment, um, in their brochures, which is which is illegal. Um, you know, we're, we're totally opposed to, to the arms fair and the arms trade. Um, but we do have some, albeit inadequate, laws in this country, and in fact, they're some of the best laws supposedly in the world to um, control arms. And um, these companies were thrown out of the arms fair, and nothing happens. <laughs> nothing at all happens to them. So when the charges were dropped against us. Um, myself and, and, and the other defendants um, instructed our lawyer to take a private criminal prosecution against those two arms companies, um, Tianjin, My Way, and Magforce International, and former, sorry, the latter being a, a quite well known French company. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's I'm just here to, to tell you a little bit about our experience, really. Um, Despite this being extremely high profile, the evidence being presented in par Parliament, um, our lawyer wrote to HMRC, the CPS, ministers, including Vince Cable. Um, there was an exclusive in the Independent, sort of setting out you know, with, with, with photographs um, the fact that these evidence had, um, these crimes had been committed. Um, the authorities did precisely zero about this. And, um, you know, to this day, they've been totally uncooperative with us. Um, the prosecution is quite groundbreaking. Um, I think it's never been done before. Um, and we really hope that you'll sort of follow us. Um, our website is arms, arms Dealers on Trial. It's a WordPress site. We've also got a Facebook and a Twitter page. Um, yeah, we should be making an important announcement quite soon, actually, probably in the next week. So please, please do follow us. Um, and one final quick announcement, um, uh, a comrade of ours, Dan Ashman, who was arrested at the same time and decided to represent himself at his trial this Friday at Stratford's Magistrates Court at 9.30am. Thank you very much.